What's up guys, today's video is on the top 3 best budget TVs of 2024. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 3 Vizio M-Series Quantum X In creating the Vizio M-Series Quantum X, Vizio was attempting to bring much of the same technology found in its popular, but expensive, Vizio P-Series Quantum X to a more affordable screen. By working in quantum dots with full array local dimming, a 120Hz native refresh rate and HDMI ports with the latest spec, the M-Series Quantum X checks all the boxes. That said, its bulky body and less than ideal peak brightness hold it back from beating other top performing TVs at this price range, the Vizio M-Series Quantum X takes two steps forwards and one step back in the design department. It's easy to love the incredibly thin bezel on the front of the TV and the solid metal strip along the bottom, but it's a bit chunky compared to similarly sized TVs. The true saving grace for the TV's design, however, is the integration of HDMI 2.1 ports with one that can hit 4K 120Hz gaming up to 240Hz when paired with a PC. That said, the 240Hz mode is limited to the 50-inch model. If you choose something bigger, you'll lose out there, but don't worry, there are some benefits that we'll cover in the next section. One port with 4K 120Hz support is better than none, but we wish there were more ports with that spec the design might be a bit of a letdown, but the performance is every bit of what we'd expect from a mid-range 4K HDR TV and then some. We tested the set using an X-Rite i1 Pro Spectrophotometer, a Spectracal VideoForge Pro Pattern Generator, and Portrait Display's Calman Calibration Software and encountered some strong results for a TV in this price range. In bright SDR mode, basically what you'd see out of the box if you didn't change any of the other settings besides the picture mode, you'll get around 500 nits of peak brightness. Number 2 Sony Bravia X80K The 43-inch X80K is small by current TV standards, but it is far from as svelte as many sets you'll find on the market. It measures 37.95 by 22.17 inches HXW, and is 2.72 inches thick, giving it the faintest chunky feel. Everything is black and smooth on the front, but the set's rear combines a series of fins at the top with a nice-looking but sedate square panel taking up most of the space the power cable connects to the right side of the TV. The ports are on the opposite side, in a single vertical line, all facing out toward the left, two USB ports, one with a power maximum of 500mA, the other with 900mA, S-PDF Digital Audio Auto, a yellow RCA video in jack, an Ethernet port, two remote inputs, RS-232C and IR input, a coaxial cable connector, and four HDMI ports, the X80K is a traditional LCD set with direct LED backlighting, as opposed to the edge-lit TVs you will often find in the budget range. This, paired with Sony's robust internal processing, results in generally better picture quality than you'll usually get for this price. It doesn't, however, quite compare with what you'll see on more advanced, and thus more expensive, sets from Sony and other manufacturers. Number 1 TCL 5 Series TCL's mid-range TV designs aren't going to win any prizes, but the basic black plastic construction does the job, providing a sturdy housing for a decent 4K smart TV. It may not look flashy, or be the slimmest thing on the TV aisle, but it gets the job done. Weighs 34.4 pounds. That's light enough that you can probably get this set up without assistance, but even for a 55-inch screen we recommend a second pair of hands. The set also features a two-position stand, which lets you adjust the width of space between the included feet, choosing between 22.7 and 42.3 inches apart. The basic boomerang-shaped feet are made of stout plastic, and skip any extras, like built-in cable routing, the biggest visual update from last year's TCL 5 Series Roku TV, S535, is a small, fabric-covered sensor bar under the bottom bezel, centered just below the TCL logo. This tiny gray bar houses the set's far-field microphones, which enable Google TV's hands-free voice controls through Google Assistant. It also has an indicator light that turns on to let you know that voice input has been triggered watching the 4K trailer from Spider-Man, No Way Home, I was impressed by the color quality, which brought out the reds and blues in Spider-Man and Doctor Strange's costumes, if maybe a tad oversaturated, and the flaring gold of Strange's magic as he cast a spell. The TV's local dimming boosted the brightness of the glowing, mystical visuals while mostly preserving the deep shadows around the characters. It speaks well to the TV's HDR support. 
It's also one of the few smart TVs on the market to support both Dolby Vision and HDR10+. Thank you watching this video do like and subscribe.